So let's recap a little, shall we? Uh, on an yeah. expedition to the north of the southern country, the Empire of Flames, you guys have been uh, helping Hackless search for an artifact that is hidden in a old reliquary that was designed by Arcanos to hold some powerful artifacts. Now, upon entering, you realize this wasn't quite so much a reliquary as it was a prison for a ancient being known as Malatesh, one of Arcanos' former followers who, through some treachery, decided to eh, kill some of her, uh, kill one of her, uh, I guess, uh, fraternistic uh, students, you know, one of the other disciples of Arcanos and was imprisoned for that crime with the very weapon that they helped create. Uh, it is holding them in place, and the only way to get out of this prison is to vanquish Malatesh herself, is what you guys uncovered last time. You also found a gentleman who is of unknown age and origin, who has been here for God knows how long. He initially was watching over you, uh, Decked to the brim with magical gear, uh, Hackless managed to cast a spell on him. He managed to mend his or warp his memories a touch, but in a act of me not quite understanding the spell, so I shall retcon this. The curse that is upon him seemed to undo all the work that he had done, and uh, now he is off somewhere else in this tomb, hiding along with his potential master, the mysterious Malatesh. All right, so you guys uh, have made it back to the central area, the grand foyer of this prison, uh, having just worked your way around and uh, taken what items you could out of the odd gentleman's room, if you can call it that, as well as a uh, frozen and now shattered female halfling who seemed to be a thief of some sort that got caught in the act and was frozen and killed. Mm. Alrighty, gang, so to the left, do we go straight ahead or to the right? I'm compelled to go right. I don't know. Above game, my video game sense is ticking. Must explore <laughs> every aspect. Find all loot. Yeah, must, that's... must open every box as Geralt. Oh my goodness, Wolfgang. Asma wants to go right. He wants to be a better person. And I just hold Wolfgang's arm. <laughs> he just looks down at <laughs> Teamwick. This place is fucking with our heads, guys. We're being way too friendly with each other. Hackless is still kind of looking around with uh, a lot of wonder in his eyes. Just he, he, His spirits don't seem to have dropped a bit since you've gotten here. He's a corgi, so... He's, he's a puppy of a person. Hmm. All right, so either we go straight ahead or to the right. How we feeling? Come on, how we feeling, you two? As we start sliding ahead, if you don't say anything, I'm going to choose for us. A -cha -cha -cha. Works for me. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm, I'm interested in everything, frankly. Let's go! <laughs> I would be oddly comfortable about this, but okay, guys. Be careful, everyone. Everybody begin to this, march this, ahead. This place is booby trapped. It's gotta be. Thank God. Yeah, just... uh, as you begin to, yeah, as you begin to walk through these halls, the the you feel what appears to be almost like a, a, a gentle gust coming from this direction. Uh, as you peer around the corner, Twig, you see a wall that opens up a bit out this way. You can see a bit more of the room from your position. Oh. Yeah, that's that's about. Eh, from there, you'd probably be able to see this. Hey, guys, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go look ahead, but I'm gonna stealth. Okay. I'm gonna go scout ahead. If you hear me scream in pain, that means something's there. Hey, not any other kind of scream. Uh, just you know, in general, if you hear anything, just come in a blasting. Uh, you got it. Eleven. <laughs> All right. 
Roll 11 for stealth. I poke my head ahead. around the corner. Whoop. Nothing seems to catch you off guard here. I slide, seems... against, I slide against the wall as stealthily as possible. Yeah, uh, the Blues Brothers, Minnie the Moochers playing in background for you. Yes. As you come around that way, you can see that there is uh, in this what seems to be a bit of an antechamber. Uh, looks like it used to be a, a shrine of sorts uh, directly ahead of the doorway. It looks like it's been crumbled and smashed. Uh, you can't really make out what the statue was, but it used to be a... It, there definitely used to be a statue sitting in front of this... Uh, para, uh, on this little parapet in front of you. Asmo, you approach a small staircase on the side. Uh, you can tell from your position that like there's a, a gust entering this room. like Just a very gentle breeze. What the... Re okay, you know what? Asmo is going to look toward... Look north, essentially, on this map. Osmond's going to stick his finger in his mouth, pull it out, and feel which way the wind's coming from. All right, give me a perception check with advantage for the, uh... Thank you. 16. It definitely seems to be circling out through uh, the northern side of this room. There appears to be a hallway up there that uh, is gently gusting what, what would uh, appear to be like the, the kind of breeze that you get from a vent that's across the room from you but pointed in your direction. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, it, just, it definitely just, feels chilled. Asmo just whistles. It's clear. At least it's so far as I can see. Asmo makes his walks back. I, like, run into the room. <laughs> Hackless begins to climb up this uh, five-foot gap in front of him. Eh, uh, eh. Eh. He starts looking at the uh, broken altar area here. Roll something for him. Once I make my D20 present. There we go. Yeah, he's just sifting through broken pieces of statue right now. Uh, appears to be marbling in structure. It's a lot of uh, marble dust and some crystal dust along with it. What are you looking for, Hackless? I'm just trying to see what this was. What it might have been what it could have done. It's, sorry, I find this kind of stuff interesting. <laughs> Fair enough. If you see anything shiny, tell me. There's lots of crystal dust here. He kind of like sprinkles some in the air, like, and it kind of like glimmers in the air as it shines through. You almost get kind of a rainbow look as he sprinkles his hand. Asmo's going to head to the south part of the room. All right. Along the way, along the way he was creeping, because he was going to go up to that back wall. He wants to try and take a look at it. Sure. King is watching on the opposite end. Watching the opposite, uh, opposite. Take end. a very close look at the back wall here. It's definitely any, a wall. Is there any kind of nooks or crannies to slide the old snake fingies into? Uh, you can feel as you feel around. You definitely, uh, it definitely looks as though these walls. Uh, actually, give me an investigation check real quick oh, as you're no. looking around this wall. Ten. Uh. There definitely seem to be some definite impact marks of some description. Uh, almost as though something was thrown against it in a rage. Like there's little chips off of the uh, marble of the wall that make it kind of like how, imperfect and blemished. How, how high up is the damage? It's about at uh, head level for you. Thrown pretty hard. Okay. Alrighty, I'll make a mental note of that. I'm gonna head up, back up, no, to the north side of the room. Come up. Yeah. I'm gonna walk up those them stairs, actually. Sure thing. Yeah, you walk up the stairs, no problem. You find yourself at the side of this altar that uh, Hackless is looking at. It depicts uh, on the side. It seems to depict more mosaic uh, with not like you know fine jewel stones or anything like that, but nice stones, minerals. Uh, a very similar story to what you've been seeing before. The hmm. woman encapsulated in a bubble, the uh, death of another unnamed person, and Arcanos standing above it all. Oh. And you continuously see, the in theme, the symbol of Arcanos etched on a lot of these things. Some of them have been 
uh, clawed at and scratched out to try to destroy the symbol, but for the most part, they seem to have just been kind of given up on. Hmm. You guys see anything over on your side? Gonna roll something for Hackless. I think this used to be a statue of Arcanos. Yeah, there's lots of pictures of him here on the wall, so... Surprised they're not... Really... Hmm? Yeah, I think he really liked himself. Makes sense. Hmm. This was a temple, was it not? Yeah. I'd imagine they'd have a lot of Arcanos' iconography. So step up that way, you can, uh... You Red definitely feet, feel the yeah. breeze coming out of that hallway there. You gonna take a look around the side there, T-Wig? Yeah, I'm just gonna peek around the side. Alright, let me... I always imagine when Nick's doing this, he's like, as long as it takes Nick to uncover it, that's how long it takes the head to slide around the corner. Yeah, yeah you, you, pe you peek around and you can see it's a fairly long hallway and there definitely looks to be another uh, complex series of... Uh, another multi-tiered room on the other side with various uh, parapets leading up. All right. I'm going to make a note of that and then just turn back and watch the rest of my companions doing their thing. All right, Wolfgang, what you up to? Uh, Wolfgang is going to climb up here and then he's going to look towards this way. Towards the right. Yeah, you can kind of see through uh, the the doors that may or may not have existed in this place have been destroyed or worn through with age at times. So you can see through uh, into the back of what appears to be a somewhat empty room. There, uh, roll me a perception check from where you're at. Okay, 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 six. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell what's in that room from here. But uh, uh, you can definitely tell that there is, in fact, a room. Well, for the uh, for the sake of uh, just knowing what's in there, just the uh, knowledge of room. I've got a magic right there. All right. Uh, we'll uh, cautiously approach the room. Yeah, as you pop your head through, you take a look around. You notice that there appear to be a few shelves uh, sitting amongst the walls here. They seem to be filled with uh, various scrolls and pages, torn up books. Uh, it seems to be a collection of literature of sorts. Uh, huh. From your position, you can see a few scraps of paper kind of fluttering ar around the ground in the slight breeze that's being kicked up in the area. Hmm. Thing will head into the room and he'll start rummaging around yeah i just heard a dice drop and it made me Sorry. nervous <laughs> <laughs> let's see what happens nick nick, nick, nick. no nah. all right uh go ahead and give me an investigation check while you're looking through the thinks th think that's bad you should watch the stream and see nick's evil glare and nick's evil smiles okay. uh, I, I i could totally gendo akari if i had some glasses 21 21 all right nice mm. uh there are a couple of books written in various languages. Some, uh, one appears to be in Dwarven. Uh, they, they all appear to be, uh, well, do you read Dwarven? Or can you speak Dwarven? No. Okay. Well, you find a book that's written in Dwarven. Uh, definitely has the runes. You can't tell if it's Dwarven or if it's another language, but it definitely uses the Dwarven alphabet. You also find a couple of scrolls, uh... Magical scrolls hidden amongst them. Ooh. Find uh, one specifically for the spell Banishment. Oh. And sorry, let I me love roll this. one more I, thing. I, I love the spell. Get out of here! <laughs> yeah, you don't belong here! <laughs> oh, that's a pretty good roll. Hold on. This bitch from another dimension. Yeet! <laughs> Get out of here, <laughs> man! It's so weird when you're like, "Ew, I don't like your kind." Scroll, they just disappear. Ah, perfect. 
Sorry, I just want to make sure I get one of the appropriate level here. Problematic the spell. Get out of my store. <laughs> I had to follow this demon the whole time. Oh my god. All right. Sees demon, picks up scroll. Mm -mm. <laughs> uh, and you find a scroll of daylight. Oh. Ooh. Advanced so you daylight? Find... Uh, basically daylight anywhere you want it. So yeah, you got a scroll for banishment and daylight. If you need the description of those spells, I will offer. I actually I think I have both of them. Yeah, I have both of these spells. Well, you have them again. This time <laughs> they're for this time they're free. Yeah. These will be a nice present for Denier whenever he gets back. Aww. Actually, uh, so uh, oh, Hackless finishes sifting through that statue and begins wandering back to where Wolfgang was heading. Hey, what's back here? Found a couple of uh, scrolls and also a tome in Dwarvish. Wouldn't happen to speak it, would you? Yeah. I know oh. that one. All right. Hands, hands it over. Uh, he starts looking at the book and... Uh, he immediately informs you that it's not in Dwarven, but it's actually in Giant. Oh, huh. shit. And that's a language he is unfamiliar with. Well? Yeah, I'm not sure with their dialect and stuff. They aren't normally much for writing, if I'm a bee. This is weird. I've never seen Giants. a book... Written by Winter, him. Uh, known worshippers of uh, Arcanos at all? Not that I'm aware of. Hmm. Don't really come across many, uh, at least not out here. I've only seen one. I mean, you see a couple of Goliaths every now and again, but they aren't very friendly. They don't, they don't really like talking much. Would... Five, five exclamation marks from me. <laughs> <laughs> would, uh... Would my, uh... Would my very own monster manual be able to tell me uh, anything about giants or their culture? Uh, give me a, uh, give me a nature check with advantage. Nature with advantage. Soft twenty. Soft twenty. Uh, in your family's lineage, giants have been few and far between as as far as like actually causing a lot of trouble in the mainland but the information that you do have is uh they are a very stoic sort of people they uh will stoutly defend what they uh, stoutly defend what they believe belongs to them but they're ultimately not the most violent when they don't have to be they protect what's theirs but whatever they seem to deem theirs is in their mind theirs from there and then on. Most of them seem to have been driven out of the lands. Uh, and they are, like, it, it is very rare to come across a giant these days as uh, they all seem to start disappearing a couple centuries ago. Hmm. One hasn't been seen is seen in the mainland of Marmaria, at least between the two, uh, the north and the southern country, in over a century. Wonder if there's anybody back at the city that's knows the language. It's not like we. I mean, probably Aswell just yells from outside the room. Yeah, as I... you look. Oh, sorry. Good going. No, you you were finishing. Uh, finish your thought, as Asmo. I actually was in a mask above game. Did you only check one of the boot cases? Uh, did I, or would I? Uh, you you did check that forward bookcase. Uh, the the northern bookcase. I'll probably go ahead once I'm done with that one. I will go ahead and check the opposite bookcase as well. Okay. Uh, Hackless will assist you. So take the next investigation roll with advantage. Investigation with advantage is seven. <gasps> oh no. Oh. Uh, wow. Hackless, Hackless was hurting more than he was helping, apparently, as he was, like, fluttering through. Ah, worthless. Nope, not good, not good. Bad, bad, bad. Nah, I don't know what that is. Scatters it away. Ooh, this one's neat. Turns into dust. Oops. <laughs> when you try your best... He's just, you he's just trying to catch all the papers as they're... Wolfgang's trying to catch all the papers as they're flying by. He, like, accidentally... 
they crumple some or something. He's like, ah, oh, uh, whatever. Probably you wasn't think... that important. Wolfgang says, ah, oh, bullets. Oh, bullets. <sighs> uh, Asmo, the room you're looking into, uh, it has a bunch of dust in it. Hmm. Just crazy amounts of dust, like piles of it. Asma goes over to the dust and just lines it up in a line and just does a hit. No, um, Asma goes and checks the <laughs> dust. All right. Uh, I check the dust, Nick. Go ahead. Roll me an investigation check on the dust. Thirteen. All right, not bad. Okay. Let's see. It's at certain places. It seems to be almost a foot deep as you're kind of like brushing your hand through it, just kind of like looking to see if there's anything amongst it. Uh, when you're kicking it up, it seems to kind of like swirl around you a little bit. Can I dab my finger and just try a little, bit, just put like a, just, just try a little bit of them on Asmo's tongue? Because as you know, snakes smell with their tongue. I just heard dab and I imagined Asmo just randomly dabbing in a room. Asmo dabbed on the dust. He, no, <laughs> Asmo closes the blinds, he locks the doors, <laughs> and then he dabs. It's the only time to safely do it. <laughs> Nobody must know, but I have oh. to get it out there. It's a uh, secret curse. That's that's the actual curse from Solomon. That's how he has to sleep every night, actually. Like it's, it's awful. Yeah. Once a day, I explode. <laughs> give, give me a uh, nature check while you're checking this dust here. God, all these int stats, Nick. You're hurting me. Ah, oh, no! Oh! Natural zero. Oh uh, man! You're as you go if to, only, if only you had. The druid with you. As you go... the, druid's, the druid's out in the hallway. <laughs> As you go to lick this dust, you accidentally inhale a oh, bunch God. of it. Uh, and now I need you to make a constitution check. Uh, <laughs> Saving throw or check? Check. Uh, <laughs> at nine. Uh, As you're coughing the white hue of the dust on the ground, you start to see speckles of red showing up amongst it. <clears throat> and you get that same lightheaded dizziness feeling that you felt before, but this time your legs can't take it and you kind of fall flat on your ass. Uh, the dust starting to stick to you all around you. <clears throat> your no head's one dizzy. See, no one could see this, right? Uh, they could probably hear you coughing, certainly. Yeah, my passive perception's pretty massive. And Wolfgang's in a room right next to you. Yeah. There's no doors between you guys. <sighs> Is it? Asma just kind of kick. Asma kicks dust over the blood so no one can see the blood, and Asma wipes it away. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, the T Wig. As you look in, this room is just full of dust, it, it, and it's like spiraling around now, like it's been kicked up into the air. You okay, Asma? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, no, never better. I just inhaled some dust. <laughs> don't do that. I think I don't. Is that bad? I don't know. Yeah. I don't breathe. I don't know. It's pretty really bad for you. Your lungs are pretty important. Actually, the thing is, the thing, the thing, the thing is, T Wig. Like I don't know. There's just piles of dust in here. Like, can you check it? Cause I, uh, I was uh, just a long day. That other guy weirded me out. I'm still out of it, out of sorts right now. Okay, I run in. <laughs> Do you do a dive into the dust? <laughs> I mean, no, but I want to examine it. But All right, I definitely, ahead. like, script, I skip and frolic inside. Do, do you ostrich your face into the dust? <laughs> <laughs> sure. What uh, do I have to uh, roll here, Nick, to ostrich? A, 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 na a nature check as you're ostriching your head into this dust. Oh, come a seven. I rolled a two. That's so no. sad. Can I assist for another? Can I actually assist, please? That 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 pile there. As you're, recover, be... as you're recovering, I don't think I'm going to allow that. I, I, I would be devil's these. advocate and say you already had a check, so. Mm. Beans. Okay. Yeah. As, I pull my you're... face out of the dust and I go, "Yep, that's dust." Yeah, it's definitely some form of stone mineral, but that's about all you can tell. Okay. Oh, that's about that. Let's go see if what the let's go see what Wolfgang and Hacklitz are up to in the other room. Head. Okay. Yeah, Asmo is, uh, as Asmo walks into this room, Wolfgang, as you're turning away from this pile of books that Hackless is just calling worthless or crumbled or destroyed, uh, he is covered like, he, he looks like a ghost almost because he's covered head to toe in this fine white powder. Found a dust room. And as you're looking around, you do realize that there's a, a bit of dust in this room as well. Like it's been 
uh, yeah. s- uh, settling in here, but more has definitely been settling in that other room. Mm. There's a lot of, like, dust everywhere. Places oh, yeah. we touched. An old temple. Yeah. You just, I figured with a guy walking around, you know, all that spare time, he'd be like, oh, I should sleep. I should probably sweep for my lady. Or whatever he was doing. Yeah, but anyways, there's lots of fucking dust, so be careful. Otherwise, you're yeah, gonna look like a ghost like me. There are definitive footprints on the ground uh, where the dust has been disturbed. A lot of which have been coming from you guys, but you can tell that there were uh, other people among here at some point. Mm-hmm. It is another room to the south. I'm gonna go check it out. T-Wig, uh, come hither. Come hither, T-Wig. Guys, just might... takes T-Wig's hands. I, I want to, before he grabs me, I want to get down on all fours and shake like a dog getting out of the bath. Get all the dust off. Smart right, you, idea. A, a bunch of dust kicks up in the air, and uh, with your passive perception, as you do that, you notice that it seems to swirl in kind of a torrent and kick up into that room, and some of it kind of splits off and uh, heads into these various other rooms. Some of it drifts outward. Uh, you can tell that the currents of the air swirling through this room has been lodging a majority of the dust in that upper room. Mm. But the faint dust that you've been seeing everywhere, outside of the large human remain dust in the entrance, has been uh, settling due to this current. There's dust being kicked around from up in that northern area. Oof. Asma, as you check into this other room, it also looks empty. It looks like there used to be things here. Like there are uh, leg marks from what look to be old furniture but those have long since gone unused and this room is just kind of covered in a thin layer of that sedimentary dust the best answer you have to a lot of this is that uh, these people have been trapped in here for a very very long time and that kind of seclusion has led them to basically just some form or another of madness where a lot of these rooms have uh where they may have originally had purpose those purposes have been discarded dust room yep another dust room yeah just another dust room so much fucking dust yeah it's usually what you find in a lot of these places all right we got everything you need in that room Think so. Uh, let's head north. Up that way. There's a pathway. No, I gotta go down the stairs. <laughs> yeah, like a good boy, you get you follow the rules. I'm exactly. Gonna peek around to this corner here. All right, sure thing. As you uh, tilt your head around the corner, you can see the. In fact, you can probably see a good majority of this room. It looks like a chunk of the wall up ahead of you was destroyed at one point, but frozen over. Mmm, okay. I'm gonna, like, smack my back up against this wall, like, crawl from the Emperor's New Groove and, like, sidle over and then peek around the corner. Alright, you continue looking around this room, which, uh, uh, it's very hard to tell what this place, what this room's purpose was. It looks to be almost like a secondary altar, but that large ice block at the top of these many stairs seems to indicate that there was de- like there there was definitely some some damage was done up there, but something uh, covered it up. It's it's hard to say exactly what was the use of this room. Is there something here? Sorry, it's just it's still black. I just wasn't. Oh, sure. sorry. Uh, yeah, you can basically just kind of see the corner that leads to a couple more doorways. From where you're at, Twig, um, you smell the scent of. I guess the best way to describe it would be old death, like not rot, but like 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 a basement like, like, that's been sealed up, and you open it, and it's like really stagnant. Yeah, like like like, it, like an old crypt, like uh, like lots of bone meal. Uh, some, some small sen- uh, semblance of burning. Okay, I will turn over to my man and say, "My senses are detecting death." And I kind of tilt my head. That's not good. Nope. I want a second mm. opinion. 
Okay. I stand there. Wait for the second opinion. Hackless walks up and starts sniffing. <laughs> Smells like tomb to me. I've been in a lot of these. Asmo looks up, says, three levels here. We're on the first level. What is that big thing up there? Asmo points right at the top upper right corner with that ice block you mentioned. Yeah, as you uh, look at that ice block, uh, give me a perception check from where you're at. What the H-E double hockey stick is that? Perception? Yeah. That's a 12, Nick. Uh, it's a little, like, the angle that you're at from here, you're not getting a great view of it because there's about... 15 to 20 feet worth of extra stairs you'd have to go up, so the angle is kind of hard for you to tell. You can kind of see the very top of it as it's uh, crusting down. It looks... Important. It, I was going to say it looks very uh, opaque from where you are, like clouded over. Mm. Frosted over almost. Yeah. Mm. Do you want to go check what that out? What, what that is? Or we don't want to keep on going. Taking this one step at a time, guys. Hmm. Hackless, what are you doing? I'm just trying to talk, get a better look me, as he's like tiptoeing, just trying to get a better look at what's uh, what's up here. Keep an eye out. Because you start to crest to the top of the stairs, you notice that the. Uh, Normal floor decorations that seem to be very crystalline. There's an orb sitting in the middle of uh, the stairway in front of you. Uh, just at, at the center of this landing. It pulses with a bit of power, and you can feel that gust that you were feeling in the other room kind of swirling off of it. Oh. I'm going to, like, walk up to it and, like, s like slob it All squat. Right. Like, oh, no. As you step towards that ball... Give me a con save. Do you poke it with a stick, Monty? <laughs> <laughs> well, I am two eggs, so I am a st stick. Eh, six. Mmm, kidoki. Uh, as you begin to walk towards it, the current starts to pick up uh, more and more. You begin to feel a deep chill as your joints begin to slowly, uh, they seem to come to almost a halt, and it begins to billow with more and more power as a pulse of icy energy kicks off of it, you take uh, 14 points of cold damage. Oh. Uh, one second, I'm just checking something here. Uh, oh, I didn't prepare it, damn. All right, how much was that? 14 points of cold damage. Okay. And you are currently under the effect of uh, being slowed down. So my speed is halved? Your speed is halved. All right. How about how big is this area of, of frosty uh, uh, weapons? You feel it uh, from where you're standing, Wolfgang. You feel a very sharp gust kick, ba uh, kick by you. Uh, Hackless and Asmo, you feel it as well as the gust swooshes down. Uh, it, it, it kicks up a lot of this dust in the area. And it uh, seems to suck in almost a little bit more dust from that western hallway ahead of you and starts to kick it around as it swirls through the area and push down. Uh, you guys don't feel any damage from it, but you definitely feel chilly. It seems to only kick out in about a 10-foot radius, from what you can tell. I'm gonna, hey, are you okay? I'm gonna, like, slowly, like, slow robot move away. I'm gonna use a dash action. But while you were up there, you did notice uh, that ball of ice against that wall with your passive perception, you could see that there appeared to be almost some sort of a tunnel that was blasted out that way, that was sealed up immediately by ice. There's a tunnel in the top corner, but the, my legs are stiff. I can't... God, I'm trying to bend my legs, and it's just, like, really, like... not working out. Mm. Yeah, you, you can't tell how deep that tunnel went, but uh, you can certainly tell that there was darkness on the other side of that ice that wasn't just it being opaque. All right, well. Anyway, you gonna be okay? I don't know. I just, I can't move very fast right now. Well, then you stay close to Wolfgang, then. I'm gonna take point, okay? Hack lets you stay back, too. Okay. All right, here's the thing. We're not done exploring this place. 
And we, okay. already got, and we already got one person who got away from us, and we still have to find the other person in question, so my question for you is this. Do we go up there towards that ice, or do we keep on looking around and come back to this ice? Maybe there's something that we can find that can get us through this. I don't know. But I don't like what I just saw, what happened to poor T-Wig. Poor T-Wig. Aswell just grabs and just... Eee! Just... Ow. Poor T-Wig. Uh, it's my... My ear. Stop. Yeah. Hackless, having witnessed this, uh, he's going to... He, like, he kind of takes up kind of a thinking pose. Takes up the that... pose from uh, uh, Beyond the uh, Spider-Verse. Spider-Verse pose. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, he scratches down and he starts, like, kind of rubbing his chin very... Uh, contemplatively hmm. uh it's he, he kind of chimes in as you see the it, sort of inquisitive look in his eye from what that thing did i don't think that's what sealed up that hole yeah yeah i think that that would have been somebody else or something else you think someone else filled in that hole i mean somebody had to or something oh. had to the hole that goes through that hole that goes through the stonework. Yeah. And he kind of like wanders up a little bit to kind of get a better look at the orb, which still appears to be recharging, although you can see it's starting to get that little swirl of uh, air gusting around it again. In this distance, it'll be at disadvantage. Unless somebody wants to assist him with a... Uh... What's he trying to do? He's trying to decipher exactly what this orb is. I'll, uh, I'll help him. Okay. I'll go up uh, there and be like, hmm. And then with that, between you and Hackless, you begin uh, talking over the build of it and the construction of everything else around here, and you come to determine that uh, this wasn't here when this place was built. This was something that was added. Orb included? Yeah, the, the orb was something that was built uh, or constructed and placed here for reasons unknown. Mm. But it acts as a sort of a deterrent or a trap of sorts. I'm to think of it, it was kind of weird that weather suddenly changed outside of here. Hmm. Maybe it has something to do with the person... Well, I mean, it obviously got something to do with the person imprisoned here, but maybe it's a means for them to try to get out, but it seems defensive in nature. Maybe it's just a little goodie that's been left over here. Maybe. Eh. I kind of want know. it. Oh, do you want the orb? I mean, a little. I mean, I don't yeah. not. I, I don't not want it. That's fair. I'm just wondering how we're supposed to get close to it. Let's look at poor T Wig. Look at poor T Wig. Asma, well, uh, I'm fine. <laughs> like I just like. A couple of icicles start to like pop off the ears a little bit. Psh. Kind of like flick the ear a little bit. Just like, eh, 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 eh. yeah, they kind of rain down a little bit. The frostiness is starting to. You're you're, st you're starting to warm up a little bit, but this room's just a little bit too chilly that uh, your joints still aren't letting you move at full speed. Wolfgang is going to look into uh, these two rooms. Sure. As you step up here, the immediate, like, that smell of old death becomes apparent. As you look into one, it appears to be a room full of discarded bones uh, that are in another, various states of crumbling. About another bone room. And the other room seems to be cleared, although it definitely smells of... Uh, it, it smells faintly of blood. I'm going to go ahead and cast uh, Detect Magic again. Sure. Uh, nothing about these two particular rooms seems magical. Uh, obviously the orb behind you is magical in an evocation sense. Uh, how far is the range on detect magic? 30 feet. Now, let me see. Within 30 feet of you. Yeah, there does not appear to be anything other than that orb and the things that you uh, you guys are wearing and the various things that Hackless has collected that happen to be magic. All right, well, uh, Wolfgang's going to climb up here and uh, going to look into this room, seeing that there's nothing Jesus inside. Christ, that's a lot of bones. We saw <laughs> another one. 
It is, in fact, a lot of bones. I we say saw another room exactly finished. like this. It's bigger, actually. Yeah. We yeah, a lot that. of these bones look to have been... Uh, the difference between these bones and those other bones, those bones were definitely stripped of meat, but these ones, they've been cracked open. Like, a lot of the uh, bones seem to have been t cracked open and their marrow scraped out. Ugh. Uh, hey, guys. Yeah? You know, I've been noticing a lot of bones and dust. I have a nasty feeling that something is... Aswell just kind of pulls up one of the bones with no marrow in it. I think something's eating all these things, and this I is mean, uh, this is where they throw the leftovers. Hackless is just sort of jotting in his journal as he's like popping his head over to look at that orb. I mean, it's probably how they survive. Damn, just just make sure that we're very safe. Last thing I want to be is someone's goddamn brunch. I don't have bones. They will make you watch. Oh no! <laughs> just like grab my head. <laughs> Wolfgang's gonna go avoid this nonsense and go into the other room and get you a know, look at the the third room in there. All right, as you look through, uh, this room appears to actually still be functioning as a sort of dining room of sorts. Uh, as you get a good look in there, you can see that the table still has a few bones on it, uh, and you can tell that this is where some of that blood smell is coming from, as these bones appear to be fr uh, somewhat freshly picked. From Though the, the odd, the, yeah, the art, the odd part that you notice is that everywhere you've been, there has not seemed to have been a drop of blood. You found bones, but any ounce of, like every single ounce of blood, appears to have been either cleaned up or maybe never touched the ground to begin with. A including right here. Including here. Oh. Uh, turn. I'll turn back and I'll. Say not too loudly. Looks like we have some fresh ones. There's also not any blood. Yeah, I've noticed that too. Have you? I mean, it's it, like in hindsight, it's uh, yeah. in hindsight, it's pretty noticeable that there hasn't been any drips or drops of blood on the floor. I mean, in in the main hall, it was pretty easy to. Uh, decipher that the reason that there was no blood is because everything was atomized and turned into dust. Uh, go ahead and uh, between the two of you, one of you roll me a general intelligence check with advantage. He can do that. That'll probably be he me. Do that. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it will probably be natural 20. Oh, yeah. oh nice. Uh, between all of the context evidence and the uh, Everything based around the things that you've seen, the what you've encountered, you know the reason that there is no blood is because whatever is consuming these people is doing it while they are frozen. So blood it does not have a chance to solidify, and it does not have a chance to uh, make a mess, basically. Does that sound like anything I have ever encountered? I'd say give me a uh, g give me a either an arcane or a nature check with disadvantage. Uh, I'll go arcane. Okay. Like it. They're both the same, but <laughs> uh, because I know basilisks eat their prey while they're turned into stone, but yeah, they arcane. they have means to do so. Another seven. Oh, the seven, seven on that arcana. Seven. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah, beans. Brought Lord. to you by the number seven. Uh, <laughs> the info that you're coming across in your head by thinking about everything that you've come through while not trying to dwell too long on it. Uh, there are a number of reasons that a creature might do this or what type of creature might be. You know you are dealing with one that is uh, very ancient and is very proficient in magic. It's very possible that they've adapted to do this for some reason or another, but you're not sure how or why. But you're not mm. familiar with what this person might be or what they might have done. <laughs> mm. 
My theory is that they're eating people while they're frozen. That way no blood has the opportunity to even get anywhere. Like a basilisk. But different. Not what's sure. A, what's a basket list? Uh, creature that turns people to stone. Uh, okay. Yeah, I totally know what that is. Totally. They're pretty highly priced as pets up north. So I still have my uh, I still have my detect magic on. Is I'm getting anything from this room? Uh, you're getting like not not really. I mean, you're you're still getting like faint glows of radiant magical aura just kind of in the air. Uh, n nothing that would d distinguish it as like out of the ordinary though. Like there there's nothing that's a magical item in the vicinity that you're in. Other than that orb, of course. I'll go ahead and uh, just make sure that I check this room thoroughly. And once I'm satisfied that uh, nothing else is in here. Sure. Uh, for, for the sake of your curiosity, go ahead and roll an investigation check. Another seven. Brought to you by the number seven. <laughs> uh, uh, oh everything in God. here seems seven. mundane. Ah, ah, ah. The, the bones give off a slight chilled aura to them. Like they're they're a little cooled. Like they're still pretty cold, as even compared to kind of the air around you, which is a bit nippy. But nothing that you can like. It's all mundane enough that you don't feel like it's worth further investigation. And the ice on the bones isn't magical in nature, correct? Oh, the the ice, like like I said, when you were getting that faint magical aura, that is what's coming off of these bones. Is this ah. uh, like this? remnant of magical aura basically nothing gotcha. that's decisively magical in and of itself but something that had magic cast upon it all right i gotcha uh in that case i think i'll just exit the room and uh i'll just i'll just look at asmo and say it's a dead end mm. for someone especially asmo looks at the bones all right, let's keep moving. <clears throat> All right, Atlas. Yeah? Make a mental note of this, and let's come back to it. I'm going to keep exploring ahead. Okay, he peeks his eyes up over the ledge. I'll be back what? for you. Wow. Uh -oh. uh, Nick, you're cutting out a <laughs> oh, sorry. lot right now. Uh, sorry, I hope oh that's not Oh my god, Atlas, are you either. okay? Yeah, Hackless pops his head up over the... Am I still cutting oh, no. out for you guys? Oh, oh dear. All right. Like I said, uh, Hackless basically popped his head over the corner and said, Okay, I'll be back for you. He whispers to the orb. Okay, I won't leak too much into that. Let's go. Come on, Hackless. Hey. Remember, t wig stay close. Okay. All right. All right. As you going. wander up, you look down this hallway and... Uh, there is a lot more of this dust on the ground that seems to be sweeping into this area from this hallway as you're uh, looking down it. <laughs> and at the very edge, you can kind of see the uh, telltale signs of frost and ice. Sorry, I just need to change up my audio here a little bit. Uh, before moving forward, actually, I'm going to cast Cure Runes on myself real fast. Go for it. Just at level one, just to... Yeah, there we go. That's nice. Uh, that's good. I am also going to cast Mage Armor on myself. Thank you, Evocation. Uh, Tiwi, you can hear a faint, uh, somewhat familiar voice coming from down the hallway. Oh, is it that guy? Yeah, it's, it appears to be uh, the rumblings of the gentleman. I'd need you to make a proper uh, perception check if you want to make out what he's saying. Sure. I, there's no way I can possibly get a seven on this. Fourteen. So you, you got, got a two seven. sevens. <laughs> God damn it. Mm-hmm. Uh... 
you can't quite make out what he's saying, but he, def he appears to be speaking to someone in a very hushed, panicked tone, and there seems to be a lot of confusion in his voice. Hey, our friend's and, up ahead, and he's and talking with somebody. It's probably fine. Oh boy, here we go. He broke out of my spell pretty quick. Kind of crazy. How strong do you think he is? I don't know, you guys are the one fighting him. Oof. Before we go in there, anybody need top it off or, or heals or, or anything? I'm good. Unless, am I still slow? Uh, yeah. Uh, actually, with the cure wounds and the uh, healing, with, with with all the healing that you've uh, received, it it's probably been mitigated by now. Okay. Osmo? My hackless spells. What? You need any healing? No, I should be good. Actually, my health is at max. Did I heal a couple weeks ago, or what happened? Have you been hurt since you came in here? I don't remember. I don't remember. think so. I think I've been lucky like that. Well, then you're ultimately fine. Nothing to worry about. Hmm. Oh, okay, so it's okay. I get, I get beat down. <laughs> Making note for myself. <laughs> no! Mm. Nick, no. Yeah, you guys uh, ultimately seem fine, but there's definitely an air of danger. Like, this, this is definitely one of those, you look down a hallway and the JoJo menacing symbols are coming at you. Yeah. Um, and here, more than anywhere, I feel, is a good place to take a quick break. Oh, okay. okay. So along with the air that appears to be, you know, getting sucked out of that area that you're coming, that's uh, the hallway that you're looking down, you can also hear a slight rumbling sound. Like, it's it's fairly faint. T-Wig, you can pick it up fairly well. The rest of you are just kind of like feeling it as almost like a low pulse in the air. It's it's this almost ambient sound, but it's it's not, like, it's not repeating it's 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 like different every couple of seconds but it's it's definitely like some sort of low rumbling sound very bassy and distant down this hallway great evil awaits yeah probably oh boy i'll try to be dramatic here but could this be any more foreboding maybe if the lights just turned off. Ah! Yeah, all of a sudden the temple just goes dark. Oh no, ambience. <sighs> but yeah, between the chill in the air that's coming from that direction, that low rumbling sound, the fact that T-Wig was hearing the uh, voice of that gentleman that you had run into previously, and just everything else about this situation, uh, it, it definitely feels foreboding. You can see some of that dust kind of kicking through as well, just getting pulled into the room that you're in and sent spiraling around and shot back down the other hallway. You can almost see like a small stream of it if you try to pay attention to the minuscule particles that are floating through the air. Anybody wearing black clothing is noticing it a lot more as it's kind of sticking to the fabric. Asmo. Yeah. Oh man, Asmo, Wolfgang T, uh, T Wig has that feathery uh, boa going on, so that's yeah. that's definitely getting caught up in as well. Glorified uh, duster. <laughs> Can't change my. <clears throat> so Shally says hackless as he starts like uh, like working his way around the corner and he begins to walk forward. And nobody stopped him. So. Do, 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 do. Oh, hey, what that? <laughs> huh? Wait, wait, slowly, man. Stealth, stealth, stealth. Ooh. Oh. He snaps his fingers and boop, he's invisible. I, I, I'm like just, this. You hear in your ear. My. But I don't have ears. I have holes. I'm yeah, like a, DB, I'm like a DBZ villain. Like this. <laughs> oh, thanks. I hate it, Hackless. I can still see him. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, you can see the silhouette of Hackless as he's kind of like wandering around Asmo, kind of poking his head around the left and right side of his ear. I'm over here now. Ah. Come on, dude. Let's be serious. Okay. Sneak ahead. I rolled 17. Should we, should we all roll stealth checks then? Oh, yeah, go god. right ahead. Oh, if, god. If you, if you no. wish to sneak, go ahead. 15. Okay, not terrible. Not bad. Fine. Right uh, mm, that brought us down. That brought us down. That's 10 mm, a pop from you two. Not great, but not the worst. We're, we're above halfway. You are, in fact, above halfway. Mm. Okay. Yeah. You, you don't. You don't hear anything except uh, that low rumbling that gets kind of a little bit louder as you get closer. As well. He's good as oh, Wait, hold on. Hackless. Hackless. Yeah? Since you're invisible, I'd like you to go up and just peek your eye around the corner. Just your eye for a second and come back and tell us what you see. Okie dokie. You, uh, you can see his trail as he actually cuts through this line of dust. Like, very faintly. But you can see him kind of, like, walk up to the corner and the dust sort of, like, collects on him a little bit. He walks back. And he, uh, he kind of, like, uh, st he just stands in front of you. So, it looks like that room's got, like, a lot, like, it's, it's destroyed a lot. Like, it, it got blown out. Like, there's actual rock walls in there. And it looks like a lot of the ground sunk in. And there's there's a man, like that same guy. You remember him. And he's talking to somebody, but he's taller. So, like, I can't really make out. But I bet that's the lady. I'm guessing he relates this to all three of us, right? Yeah, he rela he relates that to you guys. Aswell well just kind of looks at them. What's our call here? How about we go up and we say, Hi, hello, we are Tiwig. We would like a thing and we would like to leave. You're very pretty. Bye. Okay, Wolfgang, what should we do? <laughs> just turns from Tiwig. I try, to talk, try to talk I it out and get ready for a fight if it breaks up. I thought that plan was pretty good, he says to you, T-Wig. Thank you. <laughs> T-Wig just nods. Probably try to talk it out, but be ready for a fight. All right. Should one of us stay in the hallway and jump out? Are you talking to me? I, I can. Tell you what, why don't you stay? Why don't you stay invisible? We take okay. care of this, and you just pop out at the most opportune time if something bad go happens. Okay? Actually, All right. I'll, I'll, I'll say something. I'll give him to give you a signal, hackless. Okay? I'm gonna give you a signal. Here, where are you? Where's your head? Let me touch your head. He grabs your hand and puts it on his head. Okay. And Aswell puts his hand on the other side of his face. Okay. Here's what I want you to do. Mhm. Mm you can feel his head nod. When I say, say, when I scream Talos and Timri, that's when you drop and you just give them the old one, two, shaboom magic, okay? Okay, I don't really have to drop this, but okie dokie. Oh, just do whatever you do. Just stay, hit hard, avoid damage. Gotcha. If this goes south. Yeah. Okay, by south, I mean if us talking to whatever is in here and that gentleman does not work out. Okay. Any questions? He can, like you can see you can definitely tell that he's trying to think of something. Um mm. What is the definition of it working out? I don't yell that. Okay. Okay. Hackless. Yeah? You can Do feel his head know? turn toward you can feel his head turn toward Wolfgang. Do you know counter spell yes okay be ready with that in case she looks like she's about to try and cast a spell at us but 
in a hostile way. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. I'll do that. So if you yell Talos and Timrys or if she's going to cast something at you. Okay. All right. All right. Got it. Are we doing this? Uh, we yes. Yeah. Hooray. It's either that or we stay here forever. I don't like that one. Nope. All right. Buy or leave, as to the deep. Oh, fucking fun for me. Oh, what? That's weird. Ah! Asmo caught the invisibility. <laughs> there we go. I guess I did not catch one and set it to map layer. That happens. <laughs> it's the worst when that happens. It's just like, huh. All right. Asmo, as you peek around the corner, uh, you can tell that Hackless wasn't lying. This, this room out here has been really blown out. Oh, the... no. Ugh. Walls are absolutely destroyed. It, lo it looks like basically that earthquake might have been doing something here. And that rumbling is way more uh, prevalent where you're standing. It appears to be coming from the sunken in pit around you. So the black we're seeing on the screen, that's a pit? That is a pit of... Uh, Unknown distance. Oh no! Oh, okay. And as you look forward onto the layers of this area that have not been destroyed, that seem to be uh, holding together, uh, it looks to be mar a marbling floor, and uh, you can see your friend kind of standing halfway between the end of this marbling floor uh, from the start of this, where you're, you know, coming into this broken down hallway. And at the very end, what appears to, uh, at the very end of this uh, segment that doesn't have a pit, uh, well, at the end of this long hallway that probably used to just kind of lead to the wall, uh, there appears to be some sort of an altar or something at the very end. But what catches <clears throat> your eye is your uh, your friend that you were having a bit of a dispute with a little bit uh, a moment ago seems to be talking to. A cloaked figure uh, from your angle you can see wisps of white hair circling out of this sort of azure gray looking cloak and you can hear uh, you can hear him I'm just I've been so confused I'm, I'm sorry I, I didn't mean to let them go they, they caught me by surprise I, I, they, they seemed like old friends shh it's okay you're with me now And uh, as she's saying this, you can see almost a glint from within that hood catch you and make eye contact with you, Asmo. Okay. Asmo walks out by himself with his weapons drawn. Uh, it looks as though we aren't alone. <gasps> the crazed man turns around and uh, draws his weapon again. Quick, que quick question for you, uh, Lanny. How tall are the ceilings here? Uh, the ceiling here, it they, it also looks like it's been blown out a bit. Uh, parts of the structure appear to have been, uh, appear to remain intact, but a lot of the fallen out cave seems to give way to uh, a bit higher of a ceiling. I'd say that the ceiling itself is maybe 20 feet up. Okay. Seems you and, uh... Shit, I don't know what to say here. <laughs> okay. Um... You must be the lady, huh? He mentioned you. He takes a few steps forward. Uh, notably, you notice that uh, even though he appears to be walking on slick ice, his uh, feet manage to hold, like, very stably as he's walking almost, like, not even breaking his gait or slowing down. Hold it right there, soldier! As well holds up his hand. Out. If, if you're here to harm the lady, I will not allow it. Mm. 
Let's find out why we're here exactly. What's going on here? What's going on with all this? Pit. Working on something? Asmo <clears throat> says over the shoulder of him at the lady. Oh, far from it. Mm-hmm. This is a lucky hackman so to speak. This prison of mine gave way to many possibilities and then trapped me in an even more ironic prison. But that doesn't matter to you, does it, Interloper? No, it might. Mm. It might just indeed. I saw your little, uh, saw your little trick thing at the front entrance. I'm guessing that keeps you in here, huh? What do you know? Uh, you are the most important person in this place, that's what I know. But what I want to know is, what are you up to? What does one do for such an undetermined amount of time, aside from feeding on those unlucky enough to enter into its lair? Feeding is an important pastime. It helps the weight. Which is all one can do until the world is finally ripped asunder and ready for my return. What's your name? My name is Malatesh. Oh boy! All right, real fast. Uh, I want to write that down. I love that name. Malatesh. Nick, how do I spell that? M A L A T E S H. M A L A? Yeah, T E S H. Maladesh. How long have you been in this place? Countless generations by now. You lose track of time. All the dust I walked past since entering here. Is that the dust of this, as with gestures? Or is it the dust of the bones of those you've eaten? Probably a mix of both, frankly. Mm. It's hard to say. I've had so many visitors recently. Yeah. Let's just say something shook this place up and uh, people are talking about it. Oh, I'm very aware. No. That's why we're here, truthfully. But something I'd like to ask you is just, because I just, I'm so curious. Back you there ask. in the, back there in the room, we saw uh, some ice. Ooh. Mm. Scary amount of ice from an orb and uh, this ice against the wall. What is it? What is it? It is the irony of this prison I speak of. A door opens only to reveal more danger. Is that why the door is closed? So there's less danger here. Would you care to find out? Oh, there's many she says, like She says, kind of holding up uh, a staff in her hand. Uh, it appears to have a very similar orb at the end of it. This, this raggedy looking uh, sort of like, very black staff with a blue shard at the end of it. Above game, I'm actually looking at my items real faster. One second. <laughs> if you wish, I can undo it. Or would you rather be my meal? I ain't second a, thought. I ain't a meal, ma'am. I'm a goddamn buffet. Asmo pulls out fire. Uh, at that, as you start to pull out your weapon, I want you to roll initiative, and I want everybody to roll initiative. Oh, boy. Fifteen. Eleven. Natural twenty. Woo! Nice. Oh, my God, you have John Woo powers now. The silence Mark is killing me. Sorry. 
marking everything down here so I have uh, everybody in order. Yay! Do, 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 do. All right, now let me do, 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 do. Mm. And at 20. All right, Wolfgang, you got initiative here. All right. Wolfgang is going to rush out into the main room just behind Asmo and he's going to be he's going to say, "All right, I've had enough of this farce." And he's going to pull out Crescendo. Uh, where where did you just run to? Uh I just ran Oh. Sorry, that's that is uh there's a pit there. <laughs> oh. I run right into the fucking wall. <laughs> I'm leaving her! I'm about done with this ship. <laughs> that's a, that's Wolfgang. He has a son. <laughs> yeah, this, this, room a is in a, this room is in a lot of shambles. Sorry, I'm responsible I for a baby. I had sex. I had sex once. That's what that's what that says. Just once. <laughs> uh... Uh, he's gonna run out just behind Asmo. He's gonna see. All right, I've had enough of this farce. Uh, he's going to whip out Crescendo, summon Requiem, and he's going to. Uh, he's going to with the with the edge of the blade just slash across the edge of Requiem, creating sparks. And those sparks are going to fly forward and grow until it's a wall of fire. As I cast right. wall of fire. Where would you like wall of fire to uh, spread to? It's just gonna run. All the way up right here, 60 feet. Oh my all god. Right. Both 60. of them need to make dexterity saving throws. Absolutely. Uh, where, where does it start? Can you ping the square it starts in? Uh, it starts... Uh, there. Uh, right Whoa, here. Whoa, that's way too big. Why the fuck would the shape make... Oh, whatever. <laughs> that one had a bit more kick than it. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Also, it should probably be red. And uh, both of them need to make dexterity saving throws. All right. Why is it doing that? Holy shit. It's like going all the way to the top, and I can't stop it from doing that. That's fucking I dumb. Don't know, all right, whatever. All right. Be dexterity saves. Let's just do that. Yeah. Uh, 17 for Malatesh. She succeeds. And 16 for uh, the crazed man. He also succeeds just barely. So both of them are taking half damage from this. All right, show it to uh, me. Well, fire. Ooh, <laughs> they're taking 14 damage. All right. Uh, you can see that the man that you were attacking has been healed, but uh, all of a sudden it's it's not it's not very nice for him right now. Uh, do, 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 do. Awesome. Malatesh goes down to Okay. All right, and uh I I'm just reading a, a feat here real quick. Um when I use the Okay, all right. No, I can't do anything with my bonus action, so I'm just going to get ready for battle, and that'll be my turn. Now, you notice that as the Wall of Fire uh, cuts through, you see that Malatesh seems uh, unfazed by this fire that appears to have sprouted out of nowhere. In fact, mm. uh, the fire around her almost seems to dissipate entirely where she stands. Like, it goes above her and around her, but there almost appears to be, like, a bubble around her where the fire does not touch. And, huh. uh, but the wind kicked up by this heat kicks back her hood, and you get a better look through the flames of this creature in front of you. Uh, it looks like it used, it, it looks like it has a very elegant bone structure, but the years of, 
uh, malice and solitude have driven these once proud features, very fine, probably beautiful features, into gross disarray. These sharp features now come to almost kind of like a crook as she looks almost like an abomination of sorts. Her eyes are entirely swollen over with, like, blackness. Her teeth are jagged, either from self-modification or just years of wear from chewing on the various frozen bits that she has been going through. And her skin is a pale blue color. You can see her eyes as they glint down the way at you. Next up, we have Crazy Man, who is uh, not happy about this fire. He's going to be even and... less happy because he's taken more damage. What, as he starts his turn? Mm-hmm. Any creature right. who starts its turn uh, within 10 feet of the wall takes uh, takes the, the same damage when it enters the wall. That's the wall, brother! Uh, does it uh, need to make another deck save? It doesn't get a save. I think it... Uh, I'm I'm trying to read whether it takes. This, can you click the, the Can you click the spell's text? Yeah. yeah. Let's do Let's do Let's Let's all work on this together. Yeah. Oh, 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 hang on. Hang on. All right. Uh. That's weird. Why is it not showing up? I don't know. Oh, probably because it's an, it's an attack. Uh, ah. That's why it's not showing up. Uh. I'll just uh I'll go ahead and just copy paste it in the chat. <laughs> all right. Boom. Copy pasta. You create a wall fire, fire. solid surface. Just, uh, for half as much. Uh, it's when it ends its turn. Uh, ends its turn there. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, one side of the wall is selected by you and you cast the spell deals 5d8 fire damage to each creature yeah. that ends its turn within 10 feet of that side or Not inside beans. the wall. All right. Well, well, bad. Either way, he charges forward uh, at full gate running across this icy floor. And he is going to uh, try to barrel down his sword on you, Wolfgang. Oh, boy. That is a 18 to hit. That hits. Let me get back up to his statisticas here. And as he slices down, uh, you take 11 points of slashing damage as he brings his sword up for another strike. Uh, That is another... uh, that is 19 to hit this time. Yeah, that'll hit. And this time, uh, you you're appear to be more ready for the strike as uh, you you get less of your tender meat in this one as you only Good. take six points of damage. Not Wolfgang's sweet, sweet wolf meat. Oh, sweet. boy. All right. <clears throat> sweet, sweet Wolfgang meat. Asmo, you're up. I need to make a constitution... Thing to maintain concentration. concentration. Yeah. So what was that? Uh, eleven. Uh, eleven total, or yeah, eleven total. I think something right. like that. I think it's just. I think it's. What's what's a concentration it's just, check? Just, it's just it's half of the wait, damage. Hold on. It was so it was six damage 10. and. It was six, six and 11. eleven, so eighteen points of damage total. So, so cut that in half, which brings it down to nine. So but it goes 10. up to ten. It has to be ten. Yeah, it could be a ten. Right. Four. Oh. I dropped and the wall fire. Yeah, as uh, this man appears to catch you off guard as you were locking eyes with the horrific Malatesh, this man strikes you with his blade, instantly dispersing the wall of fire. And Asmo, it is now your turn. Well, Asmo's had about enough of this. Asmo says, "It's remind you the time." We are at Talos and Timrys. Asmo's going to attack this gentleman immediately. Okay. I pull out Kabuto. All right, bringing out Kabuto. Asma's gonna swing down with this bad boy. Ten. And that's not going to hit as he uh, is now more used to your fighting style. You appear to be moving slower to him now also, so uh, he's able to pretty quickly deflect your slash with a, uh, your uh, attempted stab with a sword parry. Well, I got fire and in the other hand, so let's go for 18. 18, that will hit. Excellent. Eight fire damage. 
Alright, you leave a searing scorch mark across his arm as you slice at the uh, one of the arms holding his long sword. Well, Asmo is feeling lucky. Did we ever agree on where the blaster knucks were? Is it on his left or right hand? Uh, that would have been something you determined. I'm pretty sure it's in the hand that... Uh, it, I'm pretty sure it's in your dominant hand. Yeah, it's in Kabuto, because Asmo's going to go for a blaster knuckle shot. Okay. Uh, go for an attack with blaster knuckle. And Asmo is going to swing... It's going to look like he's swinging Kabuto, but he's actually trying to punch him. He's going to use Kabuto as a fist filler, because time for a blaster knuckle hit. 15! And uh, he manages to kind of duck his head out of the way and nudge your fist along the side of his helmet. When the gun goes off, essentially. Yeah. Uh, I'm down. I lost. I lose a shell. That ends my turn. All right. Um, do, 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 do. It is now Malatesh's turn. You can see a... Uh, you can see her walking through this kind of steamy surface. Uh, the A lot of the ice in the area that used to uh, it, that the wall of fire was running through was solid water but as she walks over it it turns to appear or it appears to turn back into solid ice and uh, she looks between uh, she looks at Asma who she has a clear shot at and uh, holds out her hand you can see a swirling torrent of blue energy begin to collect as she Fires a ray of frost. Come on. And as she's doing that, it begins to dissipate. Hold on, I have to roll to make sure. Yeah. It uh, disappears as it leaves her hand. And she looks confused for a second. And that ends her turn. Next up, we have Tiwig. Okay. It is uh, I am going to use my action to cast spear, uh, Healing Spirit at third level. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm going to. Can you make me a five foot cube, like a four square? If this thing uh, doesn't want to fuck up, sure. What, five foot cube, so just a square? Yeah, it's like it'll fit. It'll hit Asmo. These, 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 this. The there. four people in this area. No bigger than that has to be. I, like... I got. You said I... a five foot cube. No, no, no. It's a five foot cube. Is four squares. F uh, five feet is uh, one square, isn't it? Yeah. No. See, it's like that. It's a... Oh, you mean something in a it's ten like foot that. area? Gotcha. It's like this here. Yeah, that's a five oh, foot cube. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, hold on. I, I, I can get you. Yeah. I'm gonna put it right, right here on top of everybody here. I got you to full health. So there we go. Right, yeah, well, I'm sorry, I dragged I you, Asmo. God damn it, Asmo, can you move yourself back? I, I fucked up. There you go. I can't touch myself. What? Wait, just no, go I ahead can't. and there. yeah, click your pointer, dude. Sorry, I was I was on snap. I was on I was on the measuring stick. I was like, why isn't it working? Okay. Uh, so what does that do? Uh, healing spirit. Uh, I oh, let me read it here. You you call an intangible spirit to a cubic five foot space you can see until the spell ends. When you are a creature you can see moves into the spirit space for the first turn, or a turn starts there. You can cause the spirit to restore 1d6 hit points to a creature. No action required. The spirit can't heal constructs or undead. As a bonus action, I can move the spirit up to 30 feet to a space you can see. And the healing increases by 1d6 for each level slot above a second. So I'm casting it at third level. Okay. Uh, and I wanted to heal uh, uh, Wolfgang. And what turn. form do you want this spirit to take? I want it to take... This is so bad. I want it to take that Dragonborn. All right, uh, through, like, in the air, you see the wings of a dragon kind of sprouts, and from it, uh, almost out of, like, a glowing slit in the air, this body of a female dragonborn stands above you, or kind of floats above you. Uh, you get healed for five. Oh, boy. Wait, who are you healing? Uh, Wolfgang. All right, Wolfgang, sh uh, this creature looks down at you with, uh... A look of genuine kindness and warmth as you begin to feel your wounds mending. How about that? And after that peaceful display, I point towards the guy, uh, the soldier guy, 
and silently whisper to my my inner sanctum, go my children, and I cast bees. Yeah! <laughs> bees! <laughs> All right, constitution save on the crazy man. <laughs> I love that it's a question mark. It always makes me happy. Bees? <laughs> well, he only rolled a 12, so that Woo! is... Uh, six points of poison damage, and you have to roll a 1d4. All right. Would you mind rolling the 1d4 for me while I knock his health down a notch right. here? Bruh. Uh, four. He so moves he heads to west. The west. Yeah, which means Asmo gets an attack of opportunity. Wait. As does wait. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. It does not provoke attacks of opportunity. Oh, it does not provoke attack of opportunity. No, no, it doesn't. Oh, okay. Not beans. It, just it, one states that, it, it states that as well. It's just one square, yeah. Okay. Ugh. He starts swatting at these insects that are buzzing around him. I'm just gonna shoot uh, Wolfgang a thumbs up. And with that, Wolfgang, it is now your turn again. Oh boy! All right, oh, I don't want to take another hurt. I don't want to take another hit like that. So before anything else happens to me, uh, uh, if he starts his turn there, he gets to get healed again by the healing oh, spirit. Oh boy! Okay. Yeah. So. By the way, Monty, for for flavor, can we please call that Plan B? Yes, it is always Plan B. Okay. okay. Uh, All right. so another five. We'll, another five. All right. Yeah. All right, so Wolfgang doesn't want to take another hit like that, even though he's getting healed. Uh, I heal another five, you said? Actually, no, you only get the one five, because I just read it doesn't actually heal you when it's activated. It's only on your turn, so just uh, five. okay. Sorry. I just double-checked that, because I'm like, wait a second. All right, I'll just remove the other five. Yeah, sorry. Uh, in that case, uh, Wolfgang is going to hold Crescendo, his platinum sword, uh, up in like a, you know, like a... Knight's Templar position, and then he's going to flip it so that the blade is reflecting uh, his image, and then he's going to, uh, his image is going to start duplicating. Ooh. He says, Speculum Ingenium! Uh, as I cast a mirror image. Boink. Wolfgang Three. shimmers, and a second one stands next to him. And then a third... And then Bonk. a fourth. Bonk. Until the spell ends, the duplicates move with me and mimic my actions, shifting positions so that it's impossible to track which one is real. I don't even know which one's real. They all look like Wolfgang to me. Oh, you, you. I know, you I know. Those. All right. I did. It, I did it for flavor. <laughs> These are my after images. I can't believe she no jutsu. He's finally a wolf gang. All right. Asso snaps his fingers and points at T-Wig. <laughs> uh, Any uh, bonus actions or? I am. I'm going to have bonus action. Uh, use my healing hands. I'm going to use my healing hands. Nope. Nope. I don't have that anymore. So I'm just going to, I'm going to healing light instead. I'm going to use two uses of my healing light, so I roll 2d6. Use your 2d6, and I heal another 11. All right. And that'll be my turn. Each time a creature targets you with an attack during the spell's duration, roll a d20 to determine whether to attack. Okay. Yep. Uh, as he swats away the bees and gets, uh, uh, and he looks back up to get a better, clearer view of the situation, you can see a massive look of confusion cross over his face. As he, like, bares his sword, he looks around at the four wolf gangs that now seem to be surrounding him, and, uh, decides that no. it's... <laughs> Sorry, what? Uh, I, I was just gonna say they all in sync do the devil may cry for trickster pose where he snaps the finger and uh, this seems to set him off even more as he's like he takes a step back giving you an attack of opportunity actually no he's still Ooh. in oh yeah yeah because you're the bottom one yep I am the one right here yep go ahead all right gonna take a swing with crescendo oh. nine. That's unfortunately going to miss as uh, as all four 
start to swing. He realizes that some of them aren't real, but he still is not sure which one is the correct one, so he's still trying to dodge as many as he can. But he's going to work his way over to Asmo, who is not four people, and attack uh -oh. him. <laughs> yeah, no, I know there's one of the... Uh, that's a 17 to hit. Uh, let me check my AC here, and that is no. All right. He misses with that one as you uh, parry his... As he brings down his sword, you manage to parry it with Fire Ant, driving it off to the side. But then he tries to strike back up with another blow. Uh, that is a modified 20 to hit. I'm going to use my reaction. Uh, I just want to ACC caught partially... Yeah, uh, I activate my reaction, Defensive Duelist, adding three more to my AC, so it's 21, so it misses. All right, and Thanks. once again, as he's trying to bring the sword back up, you catch it with Kabuto and kind of, like, parry it around, kind of throwing him off balance a little bit. Been a while since you fought someone, huh? <sighs> At least someone with an iota of skill. And with that is now your turn, Asma. You ain't wrong. As was gonna activate, uh, act, no, As was just gonna, he's just gonna keep on fighting. As well pulls out Kabuto and swings. 27. That hits. Jesus. Six pierce Damn. it with four cold. All right, and That's as it. you thrust Kabuto into his abdomen, ice begins to spread throughout his body and you begin to see parts of it crack. As his Damn. eyes go from a look of horror, pain to horror, to a look of, I'm finally free. And he crumbles to the ground. What? Damn. Holy. Oh my God. As his body falls down, you can see the grinning face of Malatesh behind him. You still have a you still have a move action and two more attacks. Oh, that I do. Oh no, I'm about to do the thing Vegeta does in movies. Uh oh. He runs with the big bad guy after defeating somebody. That never goes well for Vegeta. Okay, here we go. As well. Typically we not. This. Oh my God, it's exactly my. It's exactly how far. And I'm... okay. Uh, okay, is the that, can the area no. is difficult terrain, I will say that. Oh, then I can't make it there. So you can only make it 20 if you... Uh... Well, as... Mm, you know Wait, what? You as... have 40 feet of movement? Holy no, shit. I don't. I, I'm sorry. I thought it was a, a barbarian for a second there. Yeah, yeah. it probably was. You're, 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 yeah, you have 30, so you have 15 feet of movement. As well, carefully... Ah, and now I'm going to take you on... <laughs> and Aswell carefully steps towards. Yeah, you you, sh you slowly shimmy your feet across the ice. What is the distance on Kabuto again, by the way? Uh, it is as far as you can throw it, but the DC on it returning to you like a boomerang is the distance thrown. It's an acrobatics check. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. I'm a, I think it's a safe bet to assume when I throw Kabuto, it does ice damage, right? Or can I specify what it does? It does slashing. It does uh, piercing and uh, ice damage, or I guess slashing and ice damage. No matter what you do with it. I'm looking up. You know what? Asmo's just gonna take a. Can I ready an action, which is a dodge action? Sure. Okay, I'm gonna ready a dodge action instead because I don't know if I feel great throwing my brand new weapon around when there's a fucking actually, bottomless since, Actually, since you used your attack already, all of your other actions have to be attacks unless you use your uh, ability that gives you another action. Yeah, unless no, you action that, surge. That'll be it for me then here. Okay. All right. With that, let's get back to my map here. Sorry, distance is... Trying to see if we have any books of ice resist. Ah, beans. She takes a step forward as you begin to see this uh, swirling air, uh, this force of air kind of swirling around her. She holds forth her staff, which begins to collect with, the, uh, which begins to glow this azure blue, and uh, you begin to feel a deep chill in the air. Oh, 
This is a higher level than third level, so I'm gonna have to roll Arcana versus it. Yeah. And unfortunately, this one does not seem to be stopping as a blast of cold energy. I activate fires the counter spell ring. All right, I need you to roll me an Arcana check to try to battle this because That's it is a higher level spell than third level. Ah, seven! Unfortunately, that's not gonna do it. Oh no, it must be black and whited. Oh no! I need uh, Wolfgang and Asmo to make a con save. Oh boy. <laughs> Natural 20! Ooh, nice. Three. That is not as Whoa. nice. That is not great. Uh, Asmo, this torrent of icy energy blasts by you. It's it's so cold, it feels almost like a snap freeze, but you're able to hunker down and shield yourself from the brunt of it. Oh no, Parting John Winter. Meanwhile, Wolfgang, you're caught entirely off guard Hello. by this blast of icy energy. Uh, I'm going to say that Asmo shields you from a portion of this just due to his nat 20. But. Oh no. E. That doesn't sound good. Jesus. I don't no. like how many dice rolls that was. Uh, yeah, uh, that is. Five, ten. Okay. I like this. It is. Normally, 40 points of cold damage. Ah! Ah! But since Asmo managed to shield you from some of that, I'm going to... Uh, Asmo, you only take 20. Wolfgang, I'm going to say you take 30. <laughs> wow. Wow, that was a heavy hit. Damn. Kona Cold, man. Fucking hell. I hurt... Hurts. I heard. I've heard of Cone of Cold. I've heard of the fact that I've heard about this spell without actually experiencing it was telling. Yeah. I think you've As experienced Asmo, it you... once before, but I'm not going to say anything. Asmo, oh. you essentially just like you, you just like Piccolo protecting Gohan. You stopped oh. the torrent of air from completely obliterating Wolfgang. Asmo just got his hand forward with Kabuto and the magic dispelling ring, counter magic ring. I'm like, he's just covered in ice. It kind of worked. Yeah. It yeah, kind of worked. Yeah, for burning that resource and for uh, standing in front of Wolfgang, you were able to dissipate enough of the spell. Also, Hackless tried to counter it as well. So the, the, the air was in flux, but it still hit hard. Wolfgang, how you doing? I'm alive. Good. One HP. Oh, oh whoa! whoa! Oh, God. <laughs> t -wig. Hi. Your turn. Uh, I saw that, right? Yes, you saw a massive blast of icy energy just cake by. And by the way, the man's corpse who is sitting there is now entirely encased in ice. Very reminiscent of the halfling woman that you found. Now, do I know which one is Wolfgang? I, I will say as his ally, you can pick up the correct scent. Yes, All I have right. an I, <laughs> To you, I have an outline around me. I, yeah. Ah. It's a hut on him. Like one of I, my multiplayer games. I run over. I think oh, I want to make sure I can. That's. Yeah, no, I'm going to have to. I run all the way over. I'm going to touch touch you. Uh, and I'm going to cure wounds at level three. Eh. Uh, you get healed for. Uh, uh, that's 21. 21. That's great. Ugh. Uh, and then, that was my action, uh, bonus action, I'm gonna move my cube over, uh, here, just to hit all these four squares here. Okay. Uh, da -da -da -da. So, oh, wrong, wrong, wrong one, there we go, nope, wrong thing. There we go. Now let me get my movement thing. Come on. Please, please let me grab it. Come God on, it, let it do it. Let me move the thing. Moana. Sometimes Sorry, you have Wolfgang, to I moved in. your... Sorry, Wolfgang, I moved your clone. 
Uh, and I'm gonna take the rest of my movement just to run back to the wall. And I will end my turn there. Okay. Uh, Wolfgang, you're up again. You get to be healed! Hooray! I'm going to swap places with one of my duplicates. Whoop, 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 you get you whoop, get healed whoop. for nine, additionally. Oh, good. Because the healing spirit. I'm back up to the same amount of hit points I healed. I was before she cast Kona Cold. Yay! Jesus. Ah, okay. Thank you. Uh, and he's going to level Requiem at this uh, mean lady. And he's going to uh, take two shots. All four of your clones in tandem just gun, 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 gun. <laughs> You're facing a fucking fire in squad, you old bitch. As well, ducks. <laughs> Ten. And rightfully so, as the bullet appears to ricochet off of some form of magical shield that seems to be emanating around her. All right, Thirsting Blade to get a fire again. Eleven. And a very wow. similar thing happens as it ricochets off and clatters against a wall. My god, these... Oh, two and three. Oh. Uh, and to avoid another one of those, me and all of my clones are fucking leaving. Just gonna uh, peace out. Uh, uh, we're gonna go over here. I just see a bunch of J uh, a bunch of wolf gangs uh, like shaking each other's hands like Jerry did from that. Good job, good job, yeah, we did. Uh, <laughs> yeah, heading over to that side is the uh, barricaded or the uh, crumbled down wall, and you can still she can still see you clearly from there. There is no wall between you and her from that position. Just to let you know. Uh. Hey, uh, I have a question. Uh, sure. A, a feet question. Technically, since I used a one-handed weapon to make an attack, can I? Will that proc gunslinger? Uh, wh what part of gunslinger are you trying to proc? Uh, here? When you use the attack action and attack with a one-handed weapon, you can use a bonus action to attack with a loaded handgun you were holding. Uh, I, I, I think we ruled it that it had to be a melee attack that you were doing that with. Okay. All right. Yeah, since requiem was your main hand weapon in this one, it's probably wouldn't proc itself, especially since right. you already had Thirsting Blade there. In that case, my bonus action will be... Bonus can break. My bonus or, action will be... What is gonna break? Mm, nothing, because I want to save most of my resources. Woo! Nothing! <laughs> nothing! It's the most brutal thing ever. It's the most brutal, brutal resident of all time. Alright, that'll be my turn. Alright. Asmo, uh, as you feel like you're about to get moving here, you feel the world begin to slow down around you again. As you feel Hackless's hand on your shoulder. Oh, right. <laughs> He's invisible. I keep forgetting about him. Mm -hmm. But since those are concentration, boonk! Hey. <laughs> Does she point and, go, ah! <laughs> uh, her eyes shift over. Uh, as the world begins to slow down around you, you can see her look over towards him, and her eyes begin to glow with this... Like, you can see the center part where her pupils should be begin to glow with this red energy as she recognizes somebody of a familial, uh, familiar bloodline. Interesting. And it is now your turn, Asma. Okay, now I have haste cast on me, correct? Yes, you now what? have double your movement speed and... Uh, oh, what was it? You can take an additional action or bonus action. On That's right, additional action or bonus action every turn. Sweet Christ Almighty, is that actually allowed? Yes. Asmo even, cracks even though you're neck. a blender. Asmo, okay, 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 hear me out here, Nick, right? Mm hmm Asmo, run, uh, target acquired. Asmo okay. runs right up to her. You shimmy across this ice very gingerly, but at a speed inhuman. Asmo is gonna activate action search. All right, so that's gonna be two additional actions. Five attacks, and since I can activate an additional ability because of haste, I activate my, my ability, Fighting Spirit. All right, click on Fighting Spirit. Oh God! Advantage on everything. I All get right. advantage on every attack. And five temporary hit points. Oh, yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's five. 
This is this is this is ultra instinct, by the way. Yeah, you you feel your blood pumping through you so quickly. Your head is you just had this massive head adrenaline rush. Okay, so just so you know, the weapons I'm using for this fight is the fire in my left hand, and I have uh, my blaster knuckle in my right hand. All right, so you, you've turned uh, Kabuto around, so that's just kind of like you're holding it as kind of like a brace, basically. Pretty much, you're exactly. Not using, you're I, not I firmly believe ice damage either. will not hurt this person. That is a good bet. So Asmo comes up there, so this is blaster knuckle shot number one, 18. That hits. Six, and what do I roll? Uh, you don't roll. There is a attack button that you can press. It should say blaster knuckle shell or something like that on yeah. your character sheet. One fire damage. All right. And you can fire up to three more of those. At oh, yeah. The, uh, if per attack. Uh, I'm going to go reloading. main hand, off hand, main hand, off hand. That's what I'm going to do. So now the off hand fire ant. 21. 21 also hits. Seven fire. All right, and you notice as the fire streaks across her, the fire doesn't seem to hold as much damage as you thought it would. Okay, so it looks like elemental in general. All right, that's fine. Asmo is now going to go for another blaster knuckle hit. 25. 25 hits. Three, and now I'm going to roll the blast. Sh another shell goes off. Two. Five damage. All right. You're pummeling her back and forth as you're striking uh, across her face and trying to stab at her. Trying my best here, and I'm going to go for another fire at slash 24. 24 will hit. Six fire damage. All right, once again, does not seem to take as much as you think it would. Remember, you can uh, unproc the fire damage of it. All right, in, char in character right now. He's just so... Gotcha. All right. And Blaster Knuckle, one more hit. 13. And as uh, you're attacking her, you appear to be like getting like full blows. Bam, bam, slice, slice, bam, bam. Mm. But then uh, you notice that her eyes look at a speed that are almost similar to like, they seem unnaturally fast as she's watching your hand. She seems to move back out of the way of this one. Oh, oh. Asshole realizes that she just dodged his most powerful technique. And that's five attacks. All right. Is that five? Yeah, that is one, two. Uh, you still have one additional action you can four. use. I have three actions? I used two actions. I activated action surge. Action, uh, oh, action. I thought action surge was a free thing. Because mm. it gives you an additional action is the entire point of it, it's, isn't it? It's, yeah. it's, you can use it once per, like, long rest. Yeah, once per be, long rest. It doesn't rest. cost anything, I don't think. Yeah, it didn't cost a resource for you, so you still have an additional action due to uh, haste. So you can still attack two more times. No shit. Yeah. Oh, I can attack two more times. Okay. Mm -hmm. Asmo is getting frustrated. You can visibly see that he's getting frustrated with this. He's going to try one more uh, blaster knuckle shot. One more right in her goddamn face! 18. As you swing your hand back around as she's dodging back, you pull your, you cock your arm back and slam her right in the nose. Three damage plus knuckle shell, four, seven damage. All right, and those are all of your shells until you reload. Yep. I believe. Let me see. One shell. Four shells. Oh, no, you, 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 uh, yeah, you have one more shell. I hit, I hit, la I haven't reloaded. Remember, I hit the guy. Oh right, right, right. He but he but he hit it. He hit my hand away. Okay, and then you have uh, your your follow up extra attacks. And that is one more slash of fire at one more twenty soft. Twenty hits. And not fire damage this time. Seven regular damage. All right, as you bring the as as she's still reeling from the punch to the face, you kind of stab her square in the hip, and you can see. Uh, this one actually took full hold as you rip the blade out along the side. <sighs> All I can hear is yep. That's that literally what's just happened. <laughs> yeah. You know what the best way of describing it? Someone in the chat said Asmo's Dempsey rolling from Hajime no Ippo. Basically. Yeah. That's where he just he starts rolling back and forth like one, two, one, two, one, two. There we go. And that is Asmo. That's Asmo's turn. All right, and as that happens, you can see a air of basically a small panic start to come across her face. Her 
Staff begins to glow again as she slams it down onto the ground. And a ring of ice pops up surrounding her. Asmo, I need you to make a dexterity save. I have advantage this... on that because of haste. You do. Mm. Sorry. 13! No! 13. But uh, this was still kind of catching you off guard as a large pillar of ice streaks up around you. Like right under my feet? Yeah, under your feet, uh, a large sharp pillar of ice shoots up. Oh, fuck. That is uh, 34 points of ice damage, cold damage. Oh! Fuck! <laughs> really? Yes, and, so, you are so, sho and you are shoved uh, away from her. How far How far back am I sent? Uh, you're just slipped to the other side of the wall, basically. So that is a wall right there? Yeah, it is a wall of ice surrounding her. Ah! That's a lands really hard. All right, 34. Yeah, you kind of slide a little bit as you pick yourself back up off the ice. This bitch ain't playing around. Yeah, I was about to say. Whew. Is it metagaming to say what my health is? Maybe. Okay, I'll be quiet. But, uh, it, you, it, can, it you can is, say, yeah. you can say. You just took 34 say. points of damage. Yeah, you yes. look rough. Asma just got knocked off. I mean, Asma just went full force and he just got knocked back, so. All right, right that ends Trasmo's turn. And that's also that also ends her turn, uh, taking us back to Twig. Okay. <laughs> mm, bonus action. I'm gonna move my cube over on top of Asmo. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Asmo's just kind of getting off his ass because Asmo landed hard on his ass. Oh, she took a hell of a pub like. Uh, okay. Do, should I do something crazy? <laughs> Monty, it's D and D. The answer is always yes. Typically, she's basically in like a, a, a in a igloo of sorts. You know, kind of like Gara's defensive shell, but made of ice. Yeah, I'm gonna use a tidal wave spell on that shit <laughs> and oh! knock her. Okay. Dump her ass into the fucking abyss. I think that spell save it's... is incorrect. It should be 15, not 11. Uh, okay. Where Where is this tidal wave going to start? Because it's 30 feet long. It's going to start on this side here. And it's going to go that way. Okay, so a torrent of water is going to come gushing out of the wall and pushing that way, basically. Yeah. Okay. So oh, it's going man. to have to get through the wall of ice first. Uh, it has no dexterity saves, but at 19 damage, you can see the ice beginning to crack. Uh, but it does, like, it it cracks, it looks more brittle, but it does not break at 19 damage. You just uh, filled up the glass. It is water, though. It should be, it should go all directions. Wait, it should. It, but it's a, it's a, it's a 30 foot wall heading one direction, so it doesn't hit the front side. Anything that kind of curled around just sort of freezes to this wall. Okay. So it doesn't hit her then, because if I had known that, I wouldn't have used the spell. If it looks too I, I did say she was in a dome. Oh, it was a dome. I just heard like she she spread out ice across. Yeah, the I heard I four wall. Hear. I heard four walls. I didn't hear a top. I didn't hear a dome. Was I, I, I swear I, heard, I said dome. It was a. I heard you say pillar, but I assumed yeah, that. Yeah, I didn't. It was, well, that it was that was when it was hitting Asmo. I, I, the way I just described its shape is like you know, guard yeah, I, shield I kind of, the yeah, shell kind, of sand. Yeah, I kind of assumed she was sealed off. I, I thought I don't. Gara had like the whirlwind. That's what I thought it was. Was like oh, no. a little little yeah. uh, like big, Okay, big well, issue. I I did it. That's my fault, I guess. So I it's my last third level. So fuck. Yeah, so, so, sorry if there was, was miscommunication there. Uh, that ends my turn. I guess I'm gonna run behind this wall. Just peek behind this wall. Do I get healed at the end of your turn? On the start of your turn, you get healed. Yay! I'm happy about that. In that right. Now. All right, uh, do, 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 do. Wolfgang, you're up. 
All right. Uh, seeing as this lady has just just fucking fro froze herself, uh, he sees an opportunity to finally be able to do this. Uh, Wolfgang's going to channel the radiant energy in him, and uh, he's going to uh, bang, 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 pull his angel trigger. <laughs> All right. Uh, as I activate radiant soul. Transparent luminescent wings sprout from the back of Wolfgang and his clo and his clones. As a bright light starts to permeate around him. Uh, when this happens, the cadence of that rumbling sound that you've been hearing shifts. It almost pauses for a moment and then picks up in intensity. What was that? <laughs> I, is it noticeable? I know. Is it noticeable? It was definitely noticeable. Like there was, the, you hear that, uh, you, you heard that celestial hum that you hear whenever this energy ekes out of you. But then as the light blasted forth from you, uh, you heard the, like, almost like a pause in the rumbling. You could still hear it echoing around the caverns, but then it picked up in intensity. Almost as if in, like, a bit of a fervor. If you want to make yeah. a perception check as a... I would like to... Wait, what, what is it? As a... As a... Uh, ba ba basically, it's just as a reaction here, or as a... Okay. Uh, I'll let it be free, basically. Perception... It's gonna be 14. You hear faints, almost like, almost like horrific mooing, a very fam like an eerily familiar sound, but you can't quite make out exactly what it is. It just raises an eyebrow and it's like, "Be careful, something's happening." Uh, and then I'm going to take off into the air. And, uh, gonna move. Uh. When you're in this form, does it give off a, uh, radiance, like a light? Uh. I don't think it does. I don't think it does either. Okay. I think yeah, there's, never mind then. specifically, I think, I think there is a spell that can do that for me, but, yeah. Either way, go ahead, move, move where you wish to move. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move up 30 feet. Me and my clones spotted an opportunity to move up. Uh, and uh, right there. doesn't matter where they are. Uh, gonna be gonna say uh, I am going to use another two uses of healing light to heal Asmo with a bonus action. All right. Oh, thank you. As will you regain. Uh, seven. Above, Hit points. above half. Thank you. And that will be my turn. All right. Back to Asmo. Oh, I get healed? Start of the turn? Yes. At the start of your turn, you get healed by the uh, divine spirit of the dragon lady that is... Uh, Standing above, uh, standing by you. What? Do I roll for that? Monty. Uh, oh yes, yes, yes. I'll roll. It. Sorry. Spell. Sorry. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Sorry. Eh. Three. Eh. Oh, just three. Oh no, that. You know what? It's, it's eight. Still, it still gets me up. All right. So I see now what I'm seeing in front of me is just this giant ice. A, yeah, a thick dome of ice. There appear to be a few cracks on the western edge of it, but in front of you it appears to be solid. You can Does see it... you can see a shape on the other side. Uh... Okay, so here's what I want to do. Okay. Right, let me see what I got here in my inventory. Do I have it? Do I have it? Oh wait, sorry, I skipped Hackless's turn. Oh uh, shit! Uh, do your do Hackless's turn. Hackless will help you. And I'll still, and uh, for the sake of me forgetting his turn, I'm still going to allow, you know what? I'll actually say I'll hold his turn until the beginning of your turn. There we go, he's holding his action. Uh, he's gonna take you by the shoulder. Wanna get her? Yes, I do. He puts his hand on your shoulder and together you bamf out of existence and onto the other side. 
Are we inside now? Yeah, you are inside the shell. It's very cold in here. But she looks startled as she jolts around and sees you standing there. Good, because I'm going to activate for a second time today. So I'm probably going to get two attacks for this. Fighting Spirit, a second time. I got three shot. I got three uses of it. Okay. Uh, you still you still have uh, because of haste. You still have uh, all of your. You still have uh, the all your attacks. Yeah, your your normal attacks plus the bonus for haste. Sorry, head was spacing. Uh, okay, sorry. Regular attacks plus you one get, extra attack. You get, you get four attacks. Beautiful, because I just activated Fighting Spirit for the second time. So here we go. All right. Aswell pulls up. Oh. Shit, okay, hold on. I didn't reload Blaster Knuckle. Can I use one of my attacks to reload Blaster Knuckle? Yes, I'll allow that. I'll okay. allow you to use your haste action to reload Blaster Knuckle. There we go, now I got three attacks. Here we so go. Basically, yeah, Hackless, ta attacks. Hackless takes you by the shoulder. You wanna get her, you reload it, you cock it. Let's go. And Asmo pops right in and just punches her in the side of the face. 21! Yeah, you teleport in right behind her. Kaboom! As she turns her, she turns her head. You punch her square in the jaw. Three damage plus four fire. All right. Da, 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 da. Mark that down. Something, right. per something personal. All right, you got three more attacks. Fire Ant, oh, yeah. natural 20. Natural 20 on Fire Ant as you stab at her. And that is regular damage, 11 points of damage. All right, as she's still being taken by surprise, she begins to spin around and you slice her square, from, square across the gut. Oh, that's good, because now I'm going to punch her in the same gut with my second blaster knuckle shot. Oh. Uh, but as she's reacting to that, she kind of moves back, so you don't quite get the punch off. You don't have to use the uh, charge of the thing if you don't hit her, by the way. Oh, you don't? Good. No. I only... Good. All right, cool. Because Aswell, for his last attack, is going to go for a bite and shoot some venom into her. All right, you do have another bonus attack after that uh, blaster knuckle attack there, I believe. Yeah, but I'm using that for a bite. Oh, okay. Going to use it as a bite. Gotcha. I'm gonna bite because I'm gonna activate my bite attack. As when he gets frustrated, he just bites. Go for Hungry it. Hungry jaws. Roll the bite. Nom 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 eight. And uh, as you snap your jaws shut, they basically hit nothing but air. Ah uh, well, there you go. That's, whew, That's it for me. And uh, she's definitely. And not happy with you or the fact that Hackless is in here with you. Hi, I'm Hackless. Uh, she is going to take a small step back, so you will get an attack of opportunity. Oh, will I now? That's yes. good to know. Because I'm going to hit her in the back with a blaster knuckle shot. 23! That hits. 4 plus 3, 7. All right. She looks very angry. Her face is kind of charred, and a lot of her flesh has been ripped away. Her eyes still glow with this venom, though, as she holds forth her staff. Come on! Oh, boy. Hackless is going to... Uh, seeing what's coming, he's going to try very hard to counter this. Are you fucking kidding me, Hackless? That one. <laughs> Yeah, there like, we go. Uh-oh, Pischetti up as a, another cone of cold blasts forth on you guys. Uh, constitution saves. Constitution, not dex? Constitution save against cone of cold. Yeah. Ooh, that's a seven. That's a nine. Well, there's Hackless's nat 20. Uh, oh! Uh, yeah, okay. Let's, let's roll this out. Oh, boy. No. 30. No. 37 points of ice damage. As this Yo. entire area here just 
fills with a torrent. From outside, this uh, somewhat, op like, this relatively opaque, like, frosted wall now becomes entirely frosted over as you see a blast of blue energy. Asmo is hit, but he's still standing. Oh, my God. Ah, ah. Yeah, by the way, that tamp hit point saved my life. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, 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 Asmo gets up from one knee. <sighs> Come. I just do the Shinsuke Nakamura. Come <laughs> Asmo's all beaten up. All right, you guys can't, uh, everybody outside of the shell can't really see what's going on inside the shell anymore. Uh, T-Wig, it is your turn. I can't get my healing spirit in there because it's not a space I can see. Um. My, my, my. Uh-oh. It's a sticky wicket. It's not much I can do here. So I'm gonna turn into I'm gonna I'm going to poke my head out. I'm gonna turn to Wolfgang and I'm gonna yell. I learned the secrets from the birds, and I'm gonna turn into a giant eagle for the first time. What? Ah! And I have 80 feet oh, of wow. fly movement, so I'm gonna fly over to that dome. All right. Start pecking like a woodpecker. Like I'm gonna on top do of a, old house. I'm gonna do exactly that. I'm gonna land on top and I'm gonna start like uh, I'm gonna use a beak attack on the ice on the top. All right, roll. Uh, go ahead and fly yourself over there. I'm just gonna put myself what, what, here what, for the sake yeah, that, of oh, yeah. yeah that, ma that makes sense. So never ending story. Oh, all right. Roll to plus, attack the wall. Plus roll five. To, roll to scraw. Eh, sixteen. That hits the wall. Okay. Roll damage for wall. Right. Ooh, nine. Ooh. Uh, you see as it begins to crack, uh, it's it's still a uh, it's it's a one foot thick block of ice that you're pecking into. So it's going to take a little bit more than that, but you definitely did a huge chunk of damage. I can actually make a second attack as a giant eagle. It. I realize. So I'm gonna use my talons to try and like hook a nail in and try and peel back the ice. Right. Talon attack. Thank God for this reroll system. Eight. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a stationary object. Eight, eight to hit. Yeah, but it yeah. has a DC of ten, unfortunately, or an ah, AC beans. of ten. All right, that ends my turn then. All right, Wolfgang, you're up. Uh, seeing as how Twig is picking up on what I was actually planning on doing, uh, gonna go over here. I think I can. Yeah, you you. you can... Probably make this is such an interesting combat. <sighs> uh, change formation. <laughs> <laughs> Transformation me's. Uh, and I'm going to uh, try to smack this thing with Radiant Crescendo. All right. Oh. Get it up. Oh, oh, oh there's a huge moth. Oh, my God. No. 15 hits. It's your friend. No. Go away. 15 hits. Sorry. Nine plus eight. As oh! you do that, that is max the, damage. Yeah, as you do that, this uh, section of wall right here just kind of crumbles. So you can see, a, you get a clear view of Asmo in here, just kind of breathing incredibly heavily. It's like, no, it's like I'm sorry, it's, it's like it's like Sasuke. It's like Sasuke and Naruto. Yeah, in, 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 yeah, when they were fighting uh, in that mirror ring. Yeah, ice mirror ring. Yeah. And you can see uh, Asmo, like, panting just super heavily. Hackless looking really uh, dazed and confused as well as he's trying to shake off his... Ba basically, like, all the frozen ice off of him. But you get a clear view of Malatesh, who also looks plenty worse for wear. As she seeing, now looks up and sees this flying man. Seeing that, I'm just gonna, on the back swing with, with Crescendo, gonna take aim with Requiem Gunslinger as my bonus action. Gonna take two shots at her. All right. Shoot ha! 11. Unfortunately, is not going to hit as it uh, 
crashes into the back of the dome behind her. One more. 22. Uh, go ahead and roll damage for that first Requiem, by the way, because it would have hit the wall behind her. Oh. Uh, that's 11 for the first Requiem. Causes a massive uh, cr a fissure to form behind her. And the 22 does hit. So go ahead and roll damage on that one for her. Damage on the other one. Seven. Hmm. All right. Uh, as she's is, actually that is with uh, an additional. Uh, I, it is with additional stuff because of radiant soul. I can add my is it my charisma modifier or my warlock level extra radiant damage. Pretty sure it's charisma modifier. Extra, isn't it? It equals my level. So oh shit, an additional eight radiant damage to her as well. And you found her weakness. Oh, as there. the bullet c cascades into her shoulder, you see this light sort of emanate within that starts to kind of crackle throughout her arm. And she drops her staff, which crumbles to ash on the ground. <laughs> she uh, looks for the first time to be in searing pain in almost a level of panic. Asmo, she is just stand. She is uh, very, very bad shape as her arm is starting to like crack and seize with this light radiant energy running through it. It is your turn. Okay. Yeah, a gust of air swirls through. Ara, ara, ara. <laughs> Don't say that. You're not a mom, mom, mom. Well, Asmo steps right up to her. Blaster knuckle uppercut. 18. Uh, are you using fighting spirit again? No, I still have haste. You have haste. I, oh, sorry, sorry, I am, sorry, I am using okay. spirit. Sorry, I am using spirit. Your, your yes, third sorry. spirit. Okay. Yes, I am using my uh, third. Eighteen sorry, hits then. Just making sure. I yeah, I am to, using I my third fighting spirit. Sure. All right. Three, plus three. How do you want to do this? Can I involve Hackless in this because it was his turn? Yeah. I think it was supposed to be his turn right before mine. Uh, yeah, go for it. He was He's holding for a certain thing, but he'll hold it for uh, this. What do you want Hackless to do? Uh, okay, uh, I would... What I want to do is... I, Asmo just put, runs up to her. Punch. Explosion. Slice. And just punches her right up against the wall as hard as it can go. And Asmo punches her through the ice wall. Right through the face. As the explosion goes off. Okay. Uh, as you walk up, you punch her... You basically do like a Dempsey combo as you like duck down, hit her in the gut. She moves back against the wall and your hand, be like with the amount of speed you're throwing into it, it begins to glow like a meteor entering the atmosphere. As you punch her square in the face, the explosion from your knuckles fires off as she falls backwards through this icy wall, which shatters into a thousand pieces. As she collapses to the ground, her face a bloody mess. Her arms, her legs, they begin to seize and twitch, her face now a crater, as she begins to crumble into dust as the radiant, remaining radiant energy crackles through her. And Hackless applauds, which I'm guessing is what you wanted to use him for. Woo! I actually had a fun idea. I wanted Hackless to hold her in a full Nelson as the asshole just punches her in the gut. Do it now! <laughs> do it now, miss! Do it now, Piccolo! Special beam cannon! No, okay, there we go. <laughs> but you see the energy begin to uh, crackle and disperse as the air takes on a very quiet tone, aside from that ambient rumbling that you hear. Is that uh, below us? What was that? Is that yes, below all, us? all of that seems to be coming from below you. All right, I'm going to fly up a little bit, and I'm just going to light cantrip, shine it down below us. As you look down, uh, oh, Hackless no. is going to kind of wander over to the edge, too. You see at the very depths of this pit uh, a fairly horrific sight. 
Oh no. Oh no 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 no. You no. see dozens of glassed over eyes. Ter- torn flesh, the terrible monstrosities of the bleeding god, hundreds of them huddled together, trying to move, trying to claw through rock, trying to clamber their way up. And they stop and they appear to look at you. As the air begins to take on somewhat of a shimmering, like it, it, there's, there's this almost pitchy hum to the air. As you notice a radiant light, an azure sort of, well, not azure, but a purplish light begin to emanate from the uh, little uh, stand at the end of this corridor. Hackless looks up. This is what I've been waiting for. And he runs into it and disappears as the light fades. Oh, fuck. And this is where we shall end for today. Oh, no. Oh, no.